Hey guys, uh, just wanted to do a quick video about the uh, boxer jocks that I got recently from Under Armour and I'm comparing it to the Nike ones that I've already had. So uh, the two that I got from Under Armour are these two, uh, both blue. So one thing I quickly noticed about the Under Armour ones before I even put them on is that they have this really long tag. I've seen it in some of the reviews that people write that this is really annoying and if you compare it to the Nike one like this one's a really plasticky one if you can see if it'll focus yeah I don't know it's really like stiff and plasticky so this is pretty irritating and it's such a big piece that if you leave it on it gets pretty annoying it gets stuck to your skin because if you do wearing this you're probably gonna start sweating when you're working out and it's pretty annoying so if you cut it away at the part where they say tear away, it's still gonna leave a little piece there and it's probably even stiffer once you cut it short. If you compare that to Nike's, Nike's has this one, so it's like a soft fabric-y one. You hard, I don't even feel this at all, I've left it on all the time when I wear it. <clears throat> and it's totally fine to leave it on, even though I could take the stitching away because if you see right there, there's a white stitching that runs across the top there. That means you could pick that stitching off, which is what I did with the other one that I got here. So this one, I've completely picked it off. All clean. There's a little bit of uh, a thread there, but that's totally fine. Everything else is gone completely, and you don't even notice it at all. This one, I've already started to take part of it off, and I'm just working my way through. I just wanted to show what you can do with it. I don't know if everyone does this or not, but um, I think my friends got the long one. I haven't tried any of their long leggings yet, but so far I've just got the boxer jocks, which is the shorter, it's not really compression, but uh, it's pretty comfy. Yeah, aside from this, this is like the only complaint I have about this. Other than that, uh, comparing the two, Nikes don't fit true to size. Even though this is not the tight compression ones, these are the looser fit, I have to get an XL when I'm usually a medium for everything else Nike. So my t-shirts from Nike are medium, pants are medium, shorts are medium, but for some reason they're compression pants and or even just the regular jock short. It's an XL for me. Whereas Under Armour, this fits true to size, medium. If you compare the two waistbands, let me just get this here. They are nearly identical. So one's a medium from Under Armour, one's an XL from Nike. Almost the exact same. So the sizing is pretty weird with Nike if you've already tried it. I have to go two sizes up from medium to XL, whereas Under Armour, true to size. Both feel comfy. They're like, uh, it's like a next to skin type, uh, next to skin fit, which is what Under Armour calls it on their website, which is true. It's not like a compression one where it's gonna like feel tight on your uh, thighs that it's gonna like cut off circulation or something but it's a sleek fit and it doesn't leave much of a line like if you're wearing let's say skinny jeans I don't wear skinny jeans but if you do you won't see too much of a line from this all right sorry about that the lighting is different now the colors might look a little different because we switched cameras the other camera died the batteries just all of a sudden ended there so I'm just gonna end it off here. Um, these two, after trying them, the only complaint I have is about the tag, literally. Uh, everything else basically fits the same. Uh, no complaints about the Nike one at all. It, totally fine, I can leave the tag on, and it's totally fine. Uh, the Under Armour one, if they just switch the tags, or make it, sh like switch the tags to the fabric type, or make it shorter, or just don't include it at all, maybe it's a legal thing they have to include this, but. Uh, we take it off anyways. Um, other than that, if they fix that, it's way better. That's the only complaint. Other than that, uh, if you have these, uh, let me know what you think about it. Maybe you don't find this annoying, let me know. Uh, I think most of the people in the reviews that I've seen online did complain about it, but let me know how you feel about the tags. And if you've tried both, if there's a different brand that you like that's better. I haven't tried Saks. Uh, I've heard those are super comfy and they also have dry fit ones as well. So maybe I'll try Saks and do a review. But if you've tried that, let me know what you think. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up.
give it a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And yeah, stay tuned for more product reviews and comparisons. Thanks. Peace.